FAQ number 26, how did Judas Iscariot die? This is another one that uh, people will bring up as a contradiction in the King James Bible because here in Matthew chapter 27, verse uh, 5, it says, And he cast down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went and hanged himself. Over here in the book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 18 now this man purchased a field with the reward of iniquity, and falling headlong, he burst asunder in the midst, and all his bowels gushed out. So they say, over in Matthew, it's saying he hung himself. Here in Acts chapter 1, it's saying that he fell down and his bowels gushed out. Okay? So obviously it's, it's you know, a contradiction. No, again, it's not a contradiction. You see, because Judas Iscariot would have hung himself on the edge of a cliff. That's a smart way to do it, by the way. If you know, I'm not saying to do it, but you know, <laughs> uh, you go and because basically the way that one hangs themselves is they put a rope around their neck, and you. The idea is if the weight of your body, if it goes like this, it'll snap the neck and you're dead. Okay, and of course there are people that try to do it and they fail at it and they just end up choking themselves and go unconscious or something. It's, you know, not very good. But the the point is Judas Iscariot very easily. I mean, if you're going to take this thing to a court, we'll say, you can easily prove that he could have gone to the top of a hill, there's a dead tree there and the branches going out over the edge of the cliff, and he looked down and he thought, okay, this will work. Tie a rope around one of the dead branches, put it around your neck, and go and run and jump off and, and you hang yourself. And remember, there was an earthquake when Jesus died. What if that earthquake rattled that tree and that tree went and fell over and now he's fallen down there and uh, falling headlong. He burst asunder in the midst and all his bowels gushed out. Oh, very easily. Very easily. That could have very easily happened. So again, it's not a contradiction. Uh, these people will try to come up with any little thing. I mean, you know, take some little, little thing from the Bible and just say, there, this doesn't look like it matches up, so reject the whole thing. You know, reject the fact that the King James Bible matches so much of what's going on. It, it's, it's, you know, we, we've been given a more sure word of prophecy. This book is telling us exactly what's happening in our daily news. I mean, it's just, it's, it's amazing. You know, an implantable microchip being used to buy, control buying and selling. You know, written back in 1611. And here we have it today. A world government coming, a world religion coming. Uh, on and on and on. The whole world seeing the dead bodies of the two witnesses over in the streets of Jerusalem for three days. Live television, live satellite TV. It's incredible. There are so many reasons to accept the book, but these lying people out there, these, these atheistic fools, they come out and they try to point out little things here and there to get you to reject the whole book. And again, they failed. Uh, there's no contradiction about Judas Iscariot. Judas Iscariot hung himself, and whatever tree or whatever else he used broke or came loose from an earthquake or whatever, and he fell down and splattered on the ground. Simple. 